What's up guys, today I'm showing some of the updates I've made to my ball track generator and I'll be going into some of what's coming in the near future, right after this. Dark Dally here and I just wanted to give a quick update on my ball track generator which I featured in a video a couple days ago. I'll put that link in the description if you missed that video and I'll have a link at the end of this video as well for it. This is my ball track generator that I made, if you guys recall it's uh, its main purpose is to generate electricity, you know, by balls hitting switches. And so, you know, it takes power from this generator just to power the switches. And then the balls hitting the switches generates a constant stream of electricity, you know, shown by this light here. And as you can see, it's much more efficient than it was last time. Actually, well, here's what happened. My, my thought process was this. I unwired it all. At first, I added more switches. I added more switches to get more pulses to try to get that that constant stream of electricity and I had it more or less you know it would just blink every once in a while which I actually thought was kind of a cool authentic touch you know kind of flicker here and there but then you know the thought occurred to me why don't I just use and I did right here this is a knot gate why don't I just use a knot gate to pick up the slack so that whenever the power cuts out the knot gate fills in those gaps and the ironic part about that is that you know what makes this unique is that it's a very inefficient way, you know, it's overly elaborate. It's an overly elaborate way to power a settlement, you know, using balls hitting switches, you know, like the Rube Goldberg machine. It's just fun. And in my quest to make it more efficient, I kind of killed the whole concept behind it by adding this knot gate in. This is the, um, yeah, this is an OR gate that picks up the signals from all those switches. And you'll see whenever it kicks off, my knock gate kicks on in its place and so that keeps the power output steady. So, kind of a funny thing, I may still be building here and such. I've run this quite a bit and it's still, you know, without fail, we're up to, yeah, over 8,000 now. In the, and that's per ball that goes through, so that number actually goes up pretty quickly. Um, actually, now I'm looking at it. It's not reading correctly, but that's okay. That's okay. It's just that counter is just for fun anyway. I don't know what, why is the tens place counting and the ones place not. Hmm. Okay, so I do plan to do some videos on logic gates. I know I said I was going to months ago and I never got around to it. So I'm going to do a, a series of very short videos, just, you know, one logic gate per video and really show how you can practically use them because some of them are not that clear, especially all the gates to start with N, for instance, not. Those are all like the, you know, the negative gates is how I remember them because they start with N and they have to feed off of other logic gates. So I'm going to do some videos on those. I'm going to definitely focus on this one because this one is a little confusing on how to use it because it says it only provides power when it doesn't get power. And so it's kind of counterintuitive. It's like, well, then how is it producing power if it doesn't get any? Well, there is a way. And I will go into that. I just wanted to give a quick update on this. It works fine. I might just build a little settlement here. Yeah. It's, it's pretty noisy, but it's kind of fun, you know, it's like a, like I said, you know, in my previous video, you know, it's, it's kind of like a train set. <laughs> so, I'll probably do something else here. Just wanted to give an update. For those who are wondering, yeah, I got it more than solved. It's, it's running too efficient now. I actually cut out some of the switches I was using. You see, there's some unpowered switches up here, like there, and there. I, because I put the extra switches in to up the power from it, and then realized that, uh, with a knot gate, I only need the four basic switches I started with. So, so that's that, guys. That's how my ball track generator is doing. I got definitely a lot more cool stuff coming up in the next few days, for sure. Um, today or tomorrow, I'm doing a special announcement video for some of the stuff that's coming up in, you know, the next month or two or three. I'm not quite sure yet. So keep an eye out for that. Don't forget to subscribe for new content. There's a button right up there in the right-hand corner of the screen for that and um, all right guys it's been fun I will catch you all next time